Straight leg raise is one of the tests we use for core strength as well. So we're looking at can you stay stable and lift the leg up when lying down. So if you lie yourself down, the object of the test is when you're lying, when you lift your leg up, your pelvis shouldn't twist or move. So you shouldn't lift or sway and your body shouldn't move at all. So what commonly happens is as the leg comes up, we drop or we twist or we arch our spines. So you're lying down flat and your leg is just going to come up towards 45 degrees and come back down. If you have really good long hamstrings and you can get your leg up to 90, you can obviously do it that way. Common faults would be that you twist the body. So instead of my hips staying here, they twist and move that way or they twist and they hike that way or I brace that way or I arch that way. So we don't want to come up, we don't want to brace down and we don't want to tilt one way or the other. So we're just floating the leg up, do my hips stay stable. If you want to put your hands on your hips here and look to see if there's a twist, You'll feel one hip will push up into your hand if you drop and tilt and rotate that way. Another way is to put your hands under your bottom and you'll feel that the weight comes off one hand if you twist. So that's basically what we call a straight leg raise test. And the aim is to see, do you have enough control around your tummy to be able to lift the leg and come back down without too much stress around the thighs. Obviously, if you lift the leg up and you happen to get back pain or you happen to get anything, I would note where that was. So if you're sore and your pelvis isn't supporting you or your tummy's not supporting you, you might find you pull into your back a little bit and that arches and that can cause you pain. So those, that's the um, single leg raise test that we would do for lying and again if you do find that it gives you pain I would note which leg you're lifting and what pain level it gave you and where and then see if it's different on the other side because you might find it's good on one but not so great on the other. In terms of your control if you're lifting your right leg see which hip moves do you you know are you moving quite a lot or is it a little bit Again, if you get somebody to video you so that you know what your movement was like when you started compared to where you were when you end, that's probably not a bad, a bad thing to do. And it's a good way just to give you some ideas as to where your start point is now and ideally, hopefully, where you end up.